I was scrolling through Facebook, um, just kind of looking at the different group uploads that or posts that I had um, missed out on. But there was one particular one I came across that caught my eye, and if it was saying the reverse, would have put a knot in my stomach. So thank heavens it didn't. One way or the other. How's it going, everyone? My name is Dave, and welcome to another video. Now, I have talked about posts from Facebook and my responses to them before. Last time it was mathematical, this time it actually has more to do, I would say, about morals. Now, the post I came across was part of the group Romantics. Um, the post itself was an image of two sentences. It's, it said this, quote, A man will admit his wrongs and try to fix them. A boy will find excuses and constantly blame you for why he's hurting you. End quote. Now before I continue, I do want to point out that this technically goes both ways. However, I can understand why man and boy would be put rather than woman and girl. Because let's be honest, in the world, from what even from what I've seen at least, men are the ones who have a tendency to do this more often than women. Big time. So I can understand why it says man and boy rather than woman and girl. Because I don't... In fact, I've never seen a woman do that kind of thing before. That's not true, but I, I have but not even remotely as close to as often as I've seen men. Like, holy crap. Anyway, I digress. What are my thoughts on this particular statement? Well, actually, I don't think it's wrong at all. The way my mind works, the how I see it is this. If you love someone or you care about someone, there should not be either a reason or excuse for hurting someone because you shouldn't have to hurt them period and if you did you shouldn't be making an excuse or reason if you're hurting someone and you claim to love them but and you're intentionally hurting them then you're just downright lying to yourself now there are some people who will disagree with me on this, but this should probably be considered. The person, if, if what this claim is the case, the person that you love, are they rich? Have you, have the two individuals, including yourself, accidentally had a child and it's that individual you actually care about? Like, these things need to be taken into consideration um, not many people do. And they'll try to convince themselves that they love someone else, but the action kind of answers, tells you whether that's actually true or not. The scenario I see the most often, and this is extremely unfortunate, is that... A man will claim to love the woman, but then the man will, behind the scenes, like verbally, physically, or sexually assault the woman. And it's just pathetic when that kind of thing happens. That's not love. That's desire. That's lust. It is not the same thing. I've talked about this before. A man will admit his wrongs and try to fix them. As that claim, as that post had stated, and this is true. I mean, if you're going to be a... First of all, it sets good morals. Now, a lot of people look at it this way. If you give in, you're not a man. I'm like... Every time... I've heard this but through many mouths. Just because the way a lot of people have a tendency to apparently see it is that you're not a man if you're not masculine. You're not masculine if you 
let the woman be right. But the fact of the matter is, from what I've experienced, almost every single time, the woman ended up being right. So, get, take Amber and I, for example. I have been wrong before, on like a more serious note. Yes, we both jokingly uh, pointed out that, hey, you're wrong, hey, you're wrong, like that kind of thing. Jokingly, very big time. But more when it comes to more on a serious note, I have been found to be in the wrong when things do go awry, for the most part. When I read the post that I saw, I was... I started reminiscing on the fact that I do end up, I every time I have ended up going, you know what, I'm in the wrong, I feel guilty, and I, when I started being in a relationship with Amber, I, this would actually put me in a panic. It doesn't so much anymore now, but the reason it did is because I wanted to fix it, but I didn't know whether I could or not because I was still trying to get into the loop of certain aspects. As far as making excuses or and or reasons for why you would hurt someone, I said this before and I'll say it again. There is no excuse or reason. If you're hurting someone then you don't care about them. Unless it's unintentional. In that case, don't make excuses or reasons. Just fix it. I mean, it's not that hard. That's what I don't understand about some people. It's just that, like... Now, bear in mind, I'm not including points in times where someone will be pointed out and they're wrong and they'll go in a panic and try to make excuses or reasons. Then, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the type of people who will go... They'll make a mistake, or they'll make an error, I should say, rather than a mistake. It'll be pointed out, and they'll just flat out deny it. I have seen this happen so many times, and it is just sad. And instead, they'll deny their wrongdoing and say that the opposing person is the wrong instead for, like, their own mental reason just to align with what they said. And pretty much every single time... It, it's not the case. The only small fraction of a piece that does make sense in the, when these things happen is at least, for the most part, these statements are based around actual events that did happen, but it's like a twisted version of it. These events do happen, but the people who act like boys, or in the rare, extremely rare circumstance, girls, um, I'm going to go by boys since I'm a man, and I, that kind of gives me the right to say that kind of thing, in, in my opinion, but when an individual acts like a boy, in this sense, I mean, they're basically whining. They're basically being childish and or naive. I've experienced multiple individuals who have acted exactly that way. Whether it's in the location I live in now, or a place I've moved out of like five years ago. Both circumstances, or five years prior to this recording, I should say. Both circumstances end up applying into this kind of situation, and as sad as it is, it it's unfortunate, but it is, un, it is how people end up being. I guess this is kind of a lengthy way of me saying, I read that post and I do agree with it. A real man, someone who is committed to what, you know, a relationship should be, would admit his wrongs and try to fix it. But someone who's just making excuses and trying to pin it on the opposing person who they are pretty much 
acting the wrong against, those specific individuals, that's just childish. They're not, I mean, maybe they're genetically, age-wise, or masculinely, masculinely, you know what I'm trying to say, men, but mentally, no, absolutely not. It just makes them naive. It makes them, it, it showcases them as people who still have a lot to learn. I only know this because I have done this in the past. That's, when I saw it, that's kind of something I reminisced on. And it is what it is. I just don't know. I've actually had that. I keep looking down because I have it rung up on my phone. I'll go ahead and close out of that and then leave this here. One way or the other, thanks for watching this video, everyone. If you agree with anything I had to say, or if you want to add anything, uh, let me know in the comments. Just put it down in the comments below. Or if you have a suggestion for anything you'd like me to talk about, uh, same thing. Want to check out anything um, that I've talked about prior to this, along the same kind of topic, discussion, and rants, click the link on the side of my head. Not quite floating your boat. Why not check out the suggestion that will be on the other side? Not thinking either will work. Check out the channel itself. Maybe you'll find something yourself because there's a lot there. That's all I've really got to say about that. Either way around, once again, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for watching this video, everyone, and I hope to see all of you in another. Bye for now.